Today's Wednesday's reads we learn about the culture of India. The widows of Malabar is inspired by the country's first woman attorney. Channel 8's Cynthia Isaguerre sat down with book critic Gwen Reyes for a preview. It's Wednesday and on News 8 at 4 we love talking about books and today's read is a 1920s mystery with a captivating heroine looking to save the day. Here to talk about The Widows of Malabar Hill, joining me now is book critic Gwen Reyes. And Gwen, this book you say was inspired in part by the woman who made history as India's first female attorney? What? Yeah, it's his first female attorney in 1920s. And what's really great about this, and this is why I think historical fiction and historical mysteries specifically do such a great job, is it helps us learn something that we never really thought about. We live in such a very lucky, privileged world now. Mm -hmm. We see women in very powerful positions all the time. But it's hard to think of just a hundred years ago that that wasn't the way, and it wasn't accepted that way. So we've got in this book Bombay's first female lawyer. It's inspired by a true story and it is a it's a very riveting wonderful mystery and it's so beautiful the prose is just one of the best books I've read in the last couple of weeks give us a quick synopsis of the storyline so she gets this job and she is trying to find her way in the world but at the same time she's dealing with sort of the the work aspects of being a woman in a man's world, but at mm -hmm. the same time having to take on a giant case that is getting tons of attention. In the 1920s, of course, it wasn't as it wasn't like 24-hour news cycle, but it was still generating a lot of attention. You know, you bring up a, a wonderful point about how privileged we are here in the United States, and I'm already teaching my children. You are mm -hmm. so blessed to be born here. How much did you learn about the culture that is of India? That was one of the greatest things in this, because this book is so beautiful. And it describes an area of the world I have never been to. I've never had the fortune to go to India. But the colors are really prevalent in it, which is one of the things I think we all think of with India. And also just the sort of the class distinctions of like the poor versus right. the rich and the people who never have a chance. And that's who she is fighting for. That's what right. this woman is trying to do is fight for the people who can't fight for themselves. Who do you recommend this book for? I would recommend this for anybody who is looking for a great... Um, book club book. So this is okay. really excellent if your New Year's resolution is to start a new book club. This is perfect for that. Um, this is really great for anybody who's interested in history and maybe learning something that they've never learned about before. Gwen Reyes, congratulations. Thank you. On your engagement. Oh, thank you so much, <laughs> Cynthia. <laughs> Have you set a date yet? Not yet. 2019 probably. Congratulations. Thank you so what much. What a way to start off 2018. Thank you. <laughs>